Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harrison and this is going to be a Unreal Engine 4 tutorial on how to add a static mesh to a new C++ class. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and create a new actor. Right click, new class. Let's choose actor. Right click. Uh, let's go ahead and call them create static mesh. Let's create the class. Okay, so now it just opened up my IDE of choice. Right now I have it set as Visual Studio Code. Uh, right now, so right now we're in the header file. Let me increase the uh, font on this. Uh, where's the preferences at? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is inside the header file, let's go ahead and create a U property, all caps. This kind of tells Unreal Engine that it is a Unreal Engine specific variable. And we want to make it visible anywhere. Is it visible anywhere? Visible anywhere. So then we can add it inside the editor. Let's go ahead and call it, we're going to call it Super Mesh, but we need to set it first. U Static Mesh. No, it's a U Static Mesh component. And we're going to call it Super Mesh. Make sure you have the pointer. And that's all you have to do there. Then we go over to the CPP file and it's a knit function. We're gonna wanna pretty much set it. And how do we do that? Super mesh equals create default. Uh, default sub object or object? will be default sub object. No, 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 no. All right, it's default. Create default sub object. It's going to be a use tag mesh component. Then we can call some text as well. We're going to call it my super mesh. That's about it. So let's save it and compile it. Oh, you know what? I think there's an error. Let me go back. Oh no, I think we're okay. All right, I just got the sound that it was a successful, uh, a successful compile. Let's drop it into the, and I am using the default CPP uh, first person template. So right now I have create static mesh I just dropped it into the world. So right now we have our static mesh right here. Let's go ahead and add the box to it. There's anything you want. And then we have it. So there you go. We just created a mesh from C++. I'll see you in the next video.